By the time you see this, there's no telling where Dwight Howard will be. Maybe he'll be traded, maybe he won't. Either way, there's only one place he should be, Houston. Houston's the kind of place where your polo shirt and your jeans and your sneakers will be enough for pretty much anything you want to do so long as you have money in your pocket. Now you tell me that doesn't sound like Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard showing up to press conferences wearing beaters. I don't mean he necessarily needs to go to the Rockets. I mean he needs to live under Akeem Olajuwon until he has to go to training camp. Because Dwight, you better be a dream shaking fool when you come back on the court. I don't think people talk about how disrespectful the dream shake would be. He do stuff that you look at and be like, wait a minute, why would anybody ever do that? The baseline's right here. Olajuwon, spin baseline, take you left, and then go like this and just put the ball in your face. And then next thing you know, the dude's like, oh! And then he turns back around and goes to the basket. You better do up fakes on Andrew Bynum, then go through his legs before you make a layup. What was Akeem Olajuwon gonna do with his right hand like this and the baseline right here, and he's behind the backboard? That's right, you better be better than we ever imagined. In case you didn't know, they're about to turn on you. And by they, I mean everybody. That's because Everybody is tired of this. Everybody's sick of your indecision. Everybody remembers you opting back in with Orlando, then asking back out before the following season. Look, I think it would be in everyone's best interest to stop pretending like anyone knows what Dwight wants, including Dwight. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If I was the Rockets, we can change his mind. How many times he changed his mind already? We can change his mind. And as you'll soon be reminded daily, Everyone remembers you were drafted the year after LeBron James and still haven't won a title. See, LeBron, he has won. He's got a grace period. Hell, people even leave Alex Rodriguez alone and he's still as shaky in the clutch as he ever was. He even got caught up taking that juicy juice. You, you have no ring. All you've got is your talent. Silky Johnson will compare your reputation to Afghanistan. It's a matter of time before that Superman nickname turns into photoshops of you and underoos on Instagram, complete with a towel serving as your cape. Dwight wants to stand up in front of everybody and say, shoot at me, I'm Superman. I hope I did not leave my bulletproof suit in the cleaners. Only way to stop that, ball. None of that getting rebounds, playing defense stuff either. We've seen that. You can't just be phenomenal. You need to be a phenomenon, because New York, it's got tabloids. Cause like living in the city is all about, okay, I'ma make myself stand out with these little nuances and I'ma go to this little nice restaurant here, this little bitty restaurant here, you know, spots. What the hell about that sounds like Dwight Howard? The rest of us, we've got ESPN. No, we go talk to Dwight Howard and be like, hey man, we about to go post up in the parking lot and holla at these chicks. You ain't gotta dress up, all you gotta wear is your polo. You, you've got nowhere to hide. Dwight needs to be in a city where parking lot pimping is as much fun as paying money and going in the club. Ain't no parking lot pimping in New York. Why? Because there ain't no parking lots. No matter where you land, your best chance to shake all this off is with a dream shake. Otherwise, all of this might turn into a nightmare. Should the Lakers make a move for him? They should try. Only thing about this, I have to readily acknowledge, I talk about teams that should get Dwight Howard because he's so good, but I'm not the one that's going to have to put up with him. Like, can you imagine being Dwight Howard's coach after Dwight Howard tried to get Stan Van Gundy fired and lied about it? Because, look, I'm okay with getting your, getting your boss fired. I'm fine with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I may or may not have considered doing that to somebody once myself. But you got to own it. Like, you can't pretend like this isn't what you're going to do. Like, you got to make the play. I've had a couple bosses try to get me fired. None of them pretended like that wasn't what they were. Well, no, one of them, one of them pretended like that wasn't what he was trying to do. You got to own it, man. You're going to run somebody off their job. I'm with it. Just own it. You're going to be a G, be a G. And that was his thing. He couldn't be a G. And you need a cat like that to be a G. He's your, he's your center. He is the guy that's defending the paint. If you are so un-G-like in your business practices, it's fair to question whether or not you can maintain your G when we need you to hold down the lane. <laughs>